You're listening to Electrician Live with your host, Paul Abernathy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Electrician Live. My name is Paul Abernathy, your host as always. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about my five essential tools that you need when preparing for an electrical exam. Now, I've taught over 30,000 students and pretty much am considered an authority on exam preparation. I've even helped write and take part in many exams around the country. So, first thing I want to tell you is, these items that I'm going to recommend might not be acceptable in your state. In other words, they might not allow you to highlight things in your code book. They might not allow you to underline things in your code book. They might not even allow you to put tabs on your code book. So, You need to reach out to your testing agency within your state and find out definitively what you can do and what you can't do in your code book when preparing for an exam. Now, we're going to assume you're in a state that allows you to do certain things like we do here in Texas, and I'm going to show you the five essential tools that you need to be successful in preparing and passing your electrical exam. Now, the first thing that you're going to need, like anybody's going to need, is a national electrical code book. Now, whether you're in the 2017 code or you're testing on the 2020 code, it is essential that you have a softbound edition, not a spiral and not a loose leaf, the softbound edition. Why? Because it is known that some testing centers won't allow loose leaf in there or spiral bound. So, The one that we know is accepted throughout the country is the softbound edition of the National Electrical Code. So, first things first, you need to pick up the code book that they're testing on in your state. Now, we have links down in the description for the best price available on your National Electrical Code books. So, make sure you check the links down in the description for the best pricing available. Now, my number two must-have is tabs. Now, whether you're on the 2017 code or you're on the 2020 code, the best tabs that I've found are the easy tabs. Now, again, down in the description, I will put a link to where I recommend you purchase these tabs. Now, these tabs are well written, easy to understand, and the color coding system allows you to get to things really quickly when you're in a stressful situation during an exam. So, I highly recommend the easy tabs, and again, I'll give you a link in the description on where you can get these at a really, really, really good price. Now, the next thing that people underestimate as being one of the important factors is in states that allow you to highlight your code book, you want to make sure that you have some high-quality highlighters. Now, you're going to do a lot of highlighting in your book, especially depending on the type of practice exams you're using or course you're using. So you want to make sure you get a pack with quite a few highlighters in it. So this is a 30-pack that has enough highlighters that are going to get you through your exam preparation and still have enough highlighter material left for that last-minute highlight. So in the description, I have used these highlighters before and recommend them to my students. They last quite a long time. So this is what I'd recommend and it's a great price. So again, you're going to do a lot of highlighting certain words, certain phrases. You're going to run out of highlighter really quickly. So buying a pack like this that's very affordable allows you to mark up everything that you need. Plus, there's certain areas that you'd use certain colors for certain things. Okay, so here you've got a wide selection. Now, some people take this for granted. The number four thing that you need to have, not only preparing for an exam, but when you go to take the exam, is a calculator. Now, there's a lot of calculators out there. There's cheap ones and there's real expensive ones. This is an inexpensive calculator of moderate size because you don't want one that's too small and you fiddle around and and hit the wrong buttons. But it's not too big that it takes up a lot of space during your exam. This one right here is the one that we recommend because it's got two sources of power. Not only does it have a battery, but also has the solar feature built in. You don't want to be sitting in the middle of exam and all of a sudden the battery go dead when the solar will keep you running. So there's a lot of calculators out there. This is the one we recommend. And again, I'll have it down in the link where you can purchase this at a really, really, really good price. Now, lastly, no exam prep is complete unless you have an exam prep course. 
Now, there's a lot of cram courses you can do over the weekends that cost four and five hundred dollars. There's a lot of courses that you can get that only give you code questions. Well, I'm going to tell you today, there is no other course on the market and in the electrical industry that's like the Fast Tracks program that's available at Electrical Code Academy. Now, this program has over 17 units, has over a thousand exam based questions, it has end of unit questions, competency questions. All of those things are in this program, and you get full access to it for 365 days. It is literally the best program out there for you to prepare and to pass that exam. So out of all of these products, it's really important to know that these products are designed to help you pass the exam from highlighting your code book, from tabbing your code book, to actually have an exam prep program that is geared around utilizing the National Electrical Code. And that's what the Fast Tracks is all about. So these are my top five items that you need to have when you're preparing for an electrical exam. So hopefully you got something out of this. Again, down in the description, I'll have links to all of these products and I've already vetted out the pricing and they are the best prices available for these specific products. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. You've been listening to Electrician Live with your host, Paul Aber.